Many world-class athletes grew up in Chicago, yet the city lacks places for rising stars to develop their skills. Well, that void is being filled by a facility on Chicago's south side, built by the skilled union millwrights and carpenters using state-of-the-art components and materials. When complete, not only will this complex revitalize an historic neighborhood, it may also be home to some new world records. We're at the new Gately Park Athletic Training Facility. This is for Chicago Park District, and we're in the Pullman neighborhood. We're building a 200 meter indoor track. This will be the first hydraulically banked track in the city of Chicago. It's going to also have basketball, volleyball nets, be a triple jump in here, there'll be long jump, there'll also be a shot put. We're the lead contractor on this, so I mean we're working with McHugh to not only build the structure, but also install the Mondo surfacing. Mondo is a sports flooring provider. We have been in business for 70 years. We provide sports surfaces throughout all types of facilities, track and field, indoor sport, weight rooms, um, gymnasiums. They provide the engineering that's involved in the hydraulic system, as well as they send representatives from Italy to help with the installation to ensure that the specifications of our installation is met. Okay, that is okay. That's We're a union and we have to comply with union requirements and so we want to be on site with the union team to help assist. So that team guides the local union labor. But they actually show the 1185 floor covers, um, how to build it. Very nice guys to get along with. Because of the nature of the track, it's a unique involvement for the millwrights in that it being an actuated machine, we're involved with the bank system that goes on each end. It's a unique opportunity. We don't generally get to work with the other specialty trade in the carpenters union, the flooring installers, so it's a combined job, millwright uh, flooring installer. The track is going to have an adjustable bank system. Banking these tracks um, takes away the centrifugal force that forces an athlete to kind of lean one way or another. So it really allows them to get their top performance. The interior lane rests on a pivot and the support system underneath uh, rests on a hydraulic cylinder actuator system that will bank the track per race. To have a track with a bank on it is fantastic. To be able to have a 60,000 foot multi-purpose athletic facility when you're not using the track, that's even better. So in the middle we have running lanes for all the hurdle events, 55 meter, 65 meter competitions. We have high jump and long jump pits embedded in here. The queue actually has athletic equipment attached to the ceiling, basketball and volleyball stanchions that swing down. So there are no inserts put into the floor surface to affect the track and field competition. This becomes the emphasis for all kind of development. Small hotels, if they're in a major track meet, then it means restaurants. This is going to be the fastest track in the world when it's done. So this particular track that's going in is Olympic grade quality, and you're gonna find that this facility will have some outstanding times. We tried to build tracks that are functional and safe but also tracks that will set world records. I ran track in high school. I'm dying to see this state-of-the-art facility come down, catch an event, hopefully see some records broke. And the various functions that will happen here is gonna lift the whole community up. And isn't that what we're after? Uh, really, let's, let's empower young people to achieve greater things, and this facility will do that. The world record for running 400 meters is 43.03 seconds, while indoors it's 44.52. Why slower? Indoor tracks are half the size as outdoor tracks, so runners must make twice the amount of turns, which slows them down.